what is the maximum interval you can set to archive or to delete the process instance so you can say it's 999 days okay and by default it is set to 7 days see you can see here right to archive the process instance by default it is set to 7 days hello everyone welcome back to part 3 of app in tutorial series i hope you guys are doing amazing so today we will uh, discuss the best practices we should follow while designing a process model so without wasting further more time let's get right into the video and yes if you haven't watched my previous videos please 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 go watch them okay so let's get started now so the first one is uh, there should always be a description to a process model okay whenever you are creating a process model always provide a description so that other developers would know that what this process model is doing what is the purpose of having this process model and we should always make the process model name dynamic so that developers can distinguish each process instances okay and it will help you debug the process instances how how can we do that you have to go to this properties and then process display name come here and you can concat this process display name with the unique id okay so that it will help you debugging the the process the failed process instance cool and then um, Uh, there should be a proper annotation added to process model okay so that any new developer or support executive uh, work with this process model they easily understand what this process model does what is the purpose of this process model okay how can we do that you just have to click on this and then you can write the annotation okay all right if there are multiple end nodes in our process model we should configure at least one of them as terminated end node why because it remains active the instance remains active and it doesn't begin its data management journey to archive that's the reason why we should configure at least one of them as a terminated end node how can we do that you just have to click on this end node okay go to this results tab click on this terminate process and hit the hit the ok button it's done and we shouldn't be adding more than 50 nodes in our process model a process model should not contain more than 50 nodes okay uh, and what appian recommends is appian recommends to not have more than 30 nodes cool but in extreme cases it can go up to 50 nodes okay and if it is going beyond that then you should try config configuring the those nodes those extra nodes in a separate process model and call that process model through sub process in your main process model okay if we are using any gateways we have four types of gateways right and complex or and xor if we are using any of these gateways we should always use the proper label name let's say i am using xor okay xor and then i have this script task over here okay let's say if this is true if this is true then go to this node go to end node if this is not true then go to script task okay so i can name this gateway as is true is true okay is true yes if it is true then go to end node then add label you just have to right click on this and then add label okay my label should be as yes is true yes it is true then go follow this path else add label to this uh, flow as well no that means it's not true then it is going to this flow right we should make proper use of data management tab to delete or archive the instances you know to avoid unnecessary memory consumption okay and most of the interviewers ask this question uh, what is the maximum interval you can set to archive or to delete the process instance so you can say it's 999 days okay and by default it is set to 
seven days see you can see here right to archive the process instance by default it is set to seven days so we can set this delete process after maybe one day or archive process archive process should be within three to seven days okay so we should have this uh, alert tab configured alert tab con so by default it is set to use system defaults for alert, error alerts but we shouldn't be using this we should rather use this send alerts to the recipient defined by the expression we should use an expression rule expression rule should return a group by constant okay why why so because if we use expression rule it will be easier for us to maintain that expression rule going forward okay let's say i want to include a group i can just do that by making some changes in that expression rule. i want to exclude a group i can then do i can do that by excluding that group from the expression rule so it will be easier to maintain okay so you can call that expression rule over here okay then uh, uh, we should be using proper uh, swim lanes for better readability okay uh, and if there is a user input task okay if there is a user input task we should uh, configure this exception i'll tell you why we use this what is the purpose of using expect exception what is the purpose of using exception in my next video okay uh, we should not keep unnecessary process variables if there are one then we should remove them do not activity chain rigorously while using ai skill so we should uh, use activity chaining when uh, uh, there is a related action or we should use it when there are two user input tasks okay and we want the same user to perform action on both that uh, both the forms so we can activity chain both the nodes okay and business user should have at least pro a uh, business user should have at least process initiated level of access and we should configure the process model security like uh, if uh, like administrator and uh, we should proper security should be given to administrator and all users admin administrator should have uh, administrator right and the all user should have viewer access all right so these are some of the best practices we should keep in mind while designing a process model i think that's all i have for today please like my video share it as much as you can and yes don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in my next video until then cheers bye bye